Hey, what's up guys? It's Nikolai from Iron and Ink. So in this video, we're gonna break down some of the most popular styles, the differences between them. And by the end of this video, hopefully you will have a better idea on what style you should pick for your next tattoo project. So let's get into the different styles. First up, we got one of the most popular styles, which is black and gray realism. In the last couple of years, this style has seen an enormous rise in popularity, and for good reason. Through many years, the two artists have perfected this style, and these days, only fantasy sets the limits of what you can do. Portraits, statues, paintings, and so much more can be done. Besides that, the compositions and the needles and the machines has made everything possible. Personally, I covered most of my body with black and gray. It goes well with almost any clothes, and it's like a style that basically never dies. I think it'll carry on forever. Second one is color realism. This style slides very, very close to black and gray, but you don't see it as often as you see black and gray. Most people don't have full color sleeve, but that doesn't make it less impressive or less beautiful at all. I have a few pieces of color realism. I have my hand done, and I think it goes well with the black and gray as well. It can go well with like almost anything too. Next up is traditional tattoos. Traditional tattoos is one of the oldest and most iconic styles that's ever been. Like the other styles, this style has come a long way. And then again, this style still kind of look the same as always. The technique and the technology has evolved, but the motives and the philosophy behind the style has stayed the same for a long time. You might sit there and think, wait, but what's the difference between old school, traditional, sailor and American traditional? And the answer is, nowadays, they all kind of look the same. It's the same basics, but the execution and the motives is what makes the difference. Traditional is also done both in black and gray and color. Number four, new school. New school is one of the new tattoo styles. New school has its roots in traditional old school. However, one of the main characteristics and ways to differentiate itself from old school is proportion, composition, and very saturated, almost cartoonish look. It often starts as a very thick outline and then fading out in a thinner line to give it a saturated look. Last one up is new traditional. New traditional is kind of in between the two previous styles. Neo means new and traditional means, you guessed right, traditional. So the style is a very modernized version of traditional, always with a thick outline and very saturated colors. New traditional can be done in both black and gray and color, but most of the time you see it in color. I wish I'd seen a video like this when I was a young boy, because then I would pick a style and I would go one path and have my entire body as one big piece instead. That was the five most popular styles we covered. For your sake, you can do whatever you want with your body, but give it some extra thought and think about the future and future projects on your body and how you want to connect it. That was it for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about your two styles, drop a quick question in the comment box below. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you're a big baller, hit the subscribe button. Take care.